What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now today is a big one actually because I want to speak to you about something that has been in the pipeline in one way or another for the last five to ten years. My own brand of online coaching. Not only brand but a style of coaching that I haven't seen anywhere else in the world. And it's because of this, a new and truly disruptive new approach and style of training that myself and the team are so flipping excited. So in today's video, I wanna give you a little bit of context as to what exactly it is that we've created here. I have struggled for the last 10 plus years since I left the Royal Marines and since I left international sport to kind of classify or categorize myself as to what kind of athlete I was. I'm not a crossfitter, I'm not a hybrid athlete, I'm not a power lifter, I'm definitely not a sprinter anymore. I've dabbled in lots of these things over the last decade because I've always had this, this idea and this vision for myself as being a true all-rounder. I've been to CrossFit gyms both here in the UK and probably in about 10 other countries. I've won powerlifting competitions, I've won strongman competitions, I've won obstacle course races. And as many of you know, I spent five years as a Royal Marines commando serving in both Iraq and Afghanistan and two years as a full-time international bobsleigh athlete. So if we look at the training styles and the demands in the military, it's super endurance focused and in bobsleigh it's kind of super speed and power focused. And a couple of years ago, the end of 2019, so just pre-COVID, I won a strongman competition and then just six days later, I won an elite obstacle course race. I don't say this to gob off or brag, I say this as kind of a demonstration to my vision of being capable and ready in all things. The funny thing is, I don't really know it at the time, but over the last decade, I've sort of amalgamated lots of different training approaches, lots of different training styles that have allowed me to be, at the very least, not shit at a lot of things. I wanted to be a good, true all-rounder. I wanted to be strong, I wanted to be powerful, I wanted to have good endurance, and I wanted to have at least a moderately decent physique whilst I was doing all of those things. To be the smallest guy at a strongman competition but still perform flipping well, or be the biggest guy at a 10K and perform flipping well. I suppose another way of putting it would be I wanted foundations that were maintained at an appropriate level where I would only require a few weeks to really narrow down on my training to become extremely competent in a particular pursuit. Again, I didn't know it at the time, but I was amalgamating and mixing all of these different approaches and styles and iterating them kind of every month for the best part of 10 years, both with my own training and with that of some of my clients who kind of shared the same objective, to both make training fun and be able to turn my hand at pretty much anything and be more than competent at a moment's notice. Basically, I wanted to be a generalist but a flipping good one. Now on the face of it, that'll be pretty easy, right? Put together a program with a little bit of strength work, a little bit of power work, a little bit of bodybuilding work for the physique, and a little bit of endurance work, both steady state and intervals. But as I spent the last 10 years finding out, it ain't exactly that simple. But of course, being a much younger and more stupid version of myself, that is exactly what I tried to do at the beginning. Chucked a load of powerlifting stuff into a program and some trail running and some speed and power and athleticism work and some calisthenics and some functional strongman work and even a bit of prehab rehab stuff in there as well to hopefully keep my body glued together. And because of this slightly gung-ho and not particularly structured attitude towards things, I spent most of the last 10 years either on the threshold of or definitely falling over the other side of burnout. And this begs the question, why? Why wasn't this working? I'm sure you're thinking exactly what I thought at the beginning. Was it just training volume? Was I doing too much? And the very simple answer to that question is yes. But there were also two further reasons as to why this particular style wasn't yielding the results I wanted it to. Number one, the specific prescription. As an example, the specific type of strength work or power work that I was doing wasn't right. I was trying to be an elite powerlifter and an elite strongman and a decent runner. And not only was this obviously far too much volume, but the specific type of plyometrics and power work I was trying to do, as an example, just weren't right for someone who was also indulging in other training methodologies. Each element needs to have the right, the correct prescription. And the second reason is the balance. In addition to the specific things you're doing that need to be correct, the ratio of all of these things needs to be bang on as well. It's not just about trying to develop strength, a bodybuilding aesthetic and functional fitness. So dividing your total amount of training volume in three and doing each of these in separate parts. It is obviously, obvious to me now, not necessarily me eight years ago, a shit ton more complicated than that. So onto the meaty stuff. My new brand of online coaching aims specifically at men that want to be a true all-rounder, a true master generalist. Men who feel as though they've been searching for years for a program and a style of training that has the perfect unique balance of all of the different components that they're trying to develop. The perfect ratio, the perfect alchemy. 
And it was from this desire, from this search, from the realization that this particular thing that I was looking for turned out it didn't flip and exist. So we decided to take it upon ourselves and build it. It was from this journey that Alchemy Athletic was born. What exactly do we do? Well, for context, I was looking to balance five different things. One, classic strength training. To be able to shift some big numbers in the gym and feel I can hold my own in a weights area and turn a few heads from lifting big and lifting well. Being strong is cool, let's not lie about it. Two, functional bodybuilding. Anybody who says they do not want a decent rig is lying. Having a strong athletic physique that looks sculpted, proportioned and aesthetically pleasing is not a vain pursuit. And it's pretty much something that I believe every man wants. And it completely makes sense that we want to look strong and attractive and able. It just fucking feels healthily masculine. I've always wanted this and I imagine I always will and I imagine that you are exactly the same. Three, power and athleticism. Now, when we look at a lot of guys in the gym, there are those that can lift a lot. There are those that have a very aesthetic physique. But how many guys do you know that look like they can effortlessly perform athletic movements, are powerful, fast and agile, whilst maintaining a decent amount of muscle mass? Probably not many, right? And the reason for this is most guys don't really know what they need to do to achieve this without getting injured. Luckily with sprinting, long jump, decathlon and bobsleigh, that's a big part of my background. So obviously it has a presence in our program. Four, this is a new component that I've coined adventure readiness. Park in my mind and either going for a run, focusing on nothing but my breath and enjoying kind of the, the meditative state that it puts me in, regardless of pace or chucking a bag on my back and heading out for a yomp, hike, ruck, whatever you want to call it, is genuinely so pleasurable to me and a real staple of my mental health and well-being through the week. Not so much that it's gonna ruin my gains or dig into my time too much, just enough to give me the foundation of steady state conditioning that I want, allow me to clear my head, get me back out into nature, and give me that incredibly primal satisfaction of being able to move my way through the great outdoors, through this planet at a nice, natural, sustainable cadence. And finally, number five, something that I call race car engine. Conditioning work with Alchemy Athletic is a little bit different with everything from pushes, pulls, drags, carries, climbs, and sprints being what I believe are the foundations of human performance are the pillars that we've realized are so unbelievably effective. Build a very impressive level of cardio capacity, but without sacrificing all the flipping hard work from the weights room. So these are the five areas that I've committed to developing within myself and refined for future generations of all-round fitness alphas. Which is you boys, yes I'm talking to you. The identification of these five different areas has existed in my mind for a few years now. But the key, the real flipping magic, is in the prescription of each of these areas and the ratio. How do we keep the balance right and how do we develop in all of these areas without getting injured or hitting burnout or sacrificing one of the other areas. Well, that is what we've been working on for the last number of years and what we believe we have flipping nailed now. And this is why we genuinely believe we've created what might be the best GPP ever written. It's an enormous claim, but we're, uh, we're pretty flipping happy with what we've done. So how is this gonna be delivered? Primarily in the form of an online group program where we'll also be building an incredible community of absolute flipping like-minded legends like yourself that share the same objective. To improve the quality of not only their bodies, but their minds, their character, and their lives through the pursuit of training excellence and the ability to turn their hand to anything. True, proper, real, global readiness. This is what Alchemy Athletic is and is all about. We're incredibly proud of it. I can't wait to share it with you. And if this even might be something that you're interested in, there is a link in the description below where you can register your interest just by putting your details in, no strings attached. It just means that we'll send you an email when we've got more information on the exact details of its launch in the next six to eight weeks. Guys, this is a huge flipping video for me. It is a huge message and I am unbelievably excited to have been able to share this with you today. As always, any questions or anything, please do put it down in the comment section below. Have a sick day. I hope you're smashing training. I hope you're smashing your nutrition. I hope you're smashing your recovery. And I hope you stay strong, stay healthy, stay awesome. And I'll see you all in the next video.